Hello and welcome to a Pilot's Life everybody. Now Pilot's Life is an add-on for X-Plane, FSX or P3D and in the words of the developer, uh, the aim of this is giving purpose to flight simulation enthusiasts. It's a simulation of a commercial pilot career from the first steps as a junior first officer employed at a local small, air, small airline to a senior captain at a world-renowned airline. So what I'm going to do today, guys, is I'm going to take a look through it. Let's have a first look at this particular version and see what it is all about. And as you can see, we're sitting here on the screen that you'll be presented with once you log in, and you're basically unemployed. So the first thing you need to do is go and find a job. So how about we go and view the offers that are available? Okay, here we are in the job market and what you're going to notice straight away, down the bottom here you're going to have five job offers. And what it does is it, it takes your location where you're physically located, or whatever you've got in your settings, and I've got New Zealand obviously, so you can see two of the five are in New Zealand, and plus a couple of extras. And essentially what you're going to get for a start is you're going to get job offers from some of the smaller airlines. And as you can see up the top here, these are this is the whole list of all the airlines that are available in this particular add-on, rated from one star through to five stars. So if you want to fly for one of the bigger airlines, American Airlines, one of those bigger ones, uh, ANA for example, that's a five star, there's absolutely no way you're going to get a job offer for them until you get your experience up. So as you can see, if we go down here and take a look at the couple of options, and we'll look at the New Zealand options right here, we've got Air Nelson, so if we just uh, zoom up here, we go to Air Nelson, you click on that and go to airline details. It brings up this page right here. So you've got the little um, logo right here. I don't know if Air Nelson actually exists in New Zealand. Uh, it certainly doesn't exist out of Christchurch. But anyway, it's uh, all part of the game. And what you can see here is all the different routes that are available. You can see all the different places that the aircraft uh, fly to. And a list of their current fleet right there. And over here is just a bit more information on the fleet. So what you can do is you can go through all the different airlines that are listed here and you can pick out one that uh, is uh, of interest to you and you can apply for the job. And at this point, these are five offers, so they will automatically accept your application. One thing to note right here is the hourly salary and we'll talk about that a bit more later on. And you can see when the job application is available to so there's a couple options right here for me. Um, so I will go ahead and have a think about this and I'll rejoin you once I've made my decision. Okay everybody, I have decided what I'm gonna do and I've decided to go ahead and accept the offer with Mount Cook Airlines. Now they're based out of Christchurch. I think I mistakenly said before that Air Nelson was based out of Christchurch. But uh, Mount Cook Airlines, that's uh, gonna be based out of Christchurch. So I'm gonna accept that offer. $13.86 an hour is the hourly salary. Now, one thing with job applications, uh, essentially you can go ahead and apply for jobs anytime you like, um, and whether you get it or not is really going to be dependent on your experience and a few other things. The other thing you need to know is that it could take up to two real days for them to come back to you, just like in real life, although they'll probably take a lot longer in real life, to be honest. But uh, it takes that time, so you could put it, they only check their uh, applications every couple of days, so just be aware of that. So let's go ahead and accept this offer. Do you want to accept the offer? I certainly do. Congratulations for accepting your first contract offer. Okay, and here we are right here. You get presented with a contract of employment, which is quite a nice little touch right here. Mount Cook Airlines, Kiwi Mace, there we go. There goes the appointment, the amount you're going to get paid. And here you are, you're presented with your main dashboard, and it's got a bunch of information here. Uh, at the moment, obviously, not a lot has gone on, and you can see right here, uh, junior first officer with zero XP and this bar will fill up as you head towards first officer. Uh, obviously it will show you how much you get paid, uh, the amount of hours you're flowing, destinations, all the normal stuff that you would expect to be in a sort of a career summary page. Now one thing to note about salary is you get paid it once a month and I'm pretty sure that you only get paid it once real in real months. So I did a bit of a test run uh, over the last 10 days or so and I joined I think on the 1st of August and right now we're on the 9th. I checked before I reset this, I checked my bank account, I'd done some flights and I had not been paid yet. So it looks like on the 1st of every month you get paid. So hey, if you're into instant gratification, it ain't happening, you better be budgeting well for, to make sure you can eat properly. 
But anyway, in here you've got a bunch of different options up here. So you can got your current contract, uh, which we've already seen. Your resume, we've got nothing at the moment, but that will just list all the different airlines that you're flowing for. Your past flights map, we've got nothing at the moment. But what I will do is I'll go ahead and do a flight later on, and then you can see what all this stuff looks like once it's got some info in there. You can print your log, but your inventory, now I'll just click on this. And here is your inventory page because what you can do is you can use your money to go up into the shop and buy some stuff that will give you XP bonus buffs and stuff like that plus add sort of um, pieces of uniform and, and sunglasses and stuff to the way you look. Uh, so you can go in there and this is just a bit of a summary of that. Uh, you've also got a photo album which basically you can take some screenshots and save them in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up our schedule so we can go ahead and get a flight done and uh, see this thing in action. All right, everybody, a little tip here. Before you go in and set up your schedules, what you want to do is select the type of aircraft that you want to, you want to fly, basically, and it will develop uh, schedules around that. So depending on which aircraft you've got in the particular simulator you deal with, you can go ahead and check which ones you want to you actually want to fly so from in my case here i've just selected the airbus uh, a319 um, but if you've got all these other types of aircraft here you can go ahead and check as many or as little as you like and it will then develop schedules around all these different aircraft right here so you just tick the box press save and away you go okay here we are in the flights page and the logbook over here has got nothing in it because i've not done any flights yet but here goes the schedule generator over here. So you can actually select the individual hubs that you would like to fly out of, or you can just go ahead, tick the type of flights that you would like to fly. I'm just gonna tick all of them. And let's generate a schedule. And there we go, the first uh, flight we've got here. It's a little bit unusual, particularly in New Zealand, is to fly a jet from Christchurch to Tauranga, but there it goes. Uh, and as you can see, here goes all the different flights listed in order. What you can actually do is you can go ahead and just fly all these flights and you must fly them in order that they've noted here. Or once you start earning money, you can actually buy skipping. So basically you can skip flights. You can then decide you might fly to Tauranga Tar Tar and go, well, I don't want to fly Tauranga to Wellington. I'd rather do the Wellington to Christchurch. So you pay money and you can skip that NZM255 and um, move on to the next flight. But there goes, that generates your flight schedule and you go ahead, fly it in order. So let's take a quick look around the rest of the app here before we go and fly Christchurch to Tauranga. Okay, here we are in the shop and it's probably one of the only other pages you can use at the moment before you've done a flight. And this just shows all the different things that you can go ahead and buy once you earn some dollars and it's in your bank account. Remembering it comes in once a month so as you can see, there's a bunch of different little categories and these certain items will help you out. So for example, if you buy a mobile phone, that's going to add an extra 10% of XP to your flight. Uh, there's other types of uh, things you can buy that will add extra money per month. Um, but And over here, it tells you how much you... Um, you need to spend to buy them so this is almost pretty much like a um like a like an investment and then you go ahead you add whatever you want to your cart there it goes there and then of course i'd go um i'd go check out and it tells me i've got no money so that's quite a nice little thing there is purpose in the money that you earn so that's what you do the other thing you can do is buy stuff that's just for appearance you've got your aviator sunglasses you've got the designer coats you've got great watches you know all that sort of stuff so it's kind of cool gives gives you something to buy with your money the other two things you can do i talked about flight skips so that's where you can go ahead and buy um you can skip flights that you don't want to fly on your schedule and there is a limit on this so um i think there's a it looks like there's a five month five per month limit um but then you've got to buy more it looks like the other thing you can do is buy flight tickets so this is a cool little added feature. So essentially what this will do is if there's something that's not on the schedule, a flight that uh, that you'd really like to fly, for example, I might want to fly from Auckland to Sydney. I could go in here and go NZAA, YSSY, um, and I could go Air New Zealand, for example. Uh, oh no, actually, we'll leave that blank. And we go search. Hold on, that is why, let's get this right and search helps if you actually put it in put it in correctly and it will give you all the list of the flights available to purchase 
uh, and the different airlines that you can fly them with. So for example, I might decide I want to fly Qantas. It would cost me $292 um, and I'd go add to trip and then buy ticket and that would then add it to the top of my schedule. You've got to make sure you tick this by the way, prioritize and current schedule and then I'll put it at the top of your schedule and there goes an extra little flight for you to fly that you otherwise, uh, it otherwise wouldn't be part of your schedule. So this just gives a bit of randomness and a bit of variety to your, your flying. So that's pretty cool. So what we'll do now guys is we will set up our flight and I will see you once we're at cruise level. See you soon. Okay, here we are at our cruising altitude, everybody. And as you can see, we're making our way from the South Island of New Zealand up to the North Island, up here to Tauranga. We're about almost halfway. And you can see the flight bar, flight progress bar along here, and plus all the other details right here. We're actually at 35,000 feet, but it's reading a little low for some reason. But you've got the uh, meter for the uh, local area that's Christchurch at the moment. Time to arrival, 33 minutes, and the type of aircraft you find, all the information right there. So this is what you can see when you're mid-flight, gives you all the information you need. So what I'll do, guys, is let's go ahead, finish this flight, land the plane, and then we'll check out what the program looks like after we have completed a flight. Okay, and welcome back to the Pilot's Life dashboard, and I've completed my flight, and as you can see over here, 1.53 hours I have completed, and one flight right here, and the last flight, NZCH, Christchurch to NZTG, Tauranga. Uh, XP, not very much XP whatsoever, but I think that's my fault. Uh, what I did is I accidentally disconnected my flight simulator before I stopped the app here, and so to reconnect it and then end the flight, and so uh, that's my fault. Uh, but if I take a look at the flights here, uh, so I think what's happened is it hasn't calculated the XP properly because of that. But as you can see here, the only thing I've got uh, XP for is for the less than 50 foot uh, per minute landing um, and nothing else. I should have a lot more XP than that. So my fault. Okay, and there you go, everybody. A pilot's life and something to uh, keep you occupied. Uh, in your flight simulation adventures. Remember, this is for X-Plane or P3D or FSX. So no matter which uh, flight simulator you've got, you're going to be able to use this little program. So you can go and download it from your favorite online store. Um, I reckon it's got a bit of potential potential right here. A couple of things to add in. Uh, reports is one that hasn't uh, happened yet. It's saying coming soon. And also community. So those two pages are yet to be added. It is in development, so we can expect those sort of things to be added in the future. But hey, I want to say a huge thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you did enjoy this, please hit the subscribe button down below if you like this sort of content. Or at least press like on the video if you did enjoy this particular video. Uh, and make sure you make some comments down in the comment section below. But thank you very much for watching. And until next time, take it easy.